Hello dear fans. What is a legend? Even after the emergence of writing, which allowed people to exchange knowledge and preserve it for posterity, not all of humanity was literate. Few knew how to read and write, while everyone else passed on knowledge and exchanged experiences through oral narratives. These stories are called legends. Instructions Step 1. The oldest form of legends is myths. They tell about the beginning of the world, about the origin of man, about the deeds of gods and heroes. Although the myth takes the form of a narrative about times gone by, it should not be considered an accurate account of any ancient events, or even a representation of the creators of the myth about these events. Rather, it reflects the views of the creators on how their world works and how one should live and act correctly in it. The actions of mythical characters serve as a sacred model for the actions of the listeners of the myth. Step 2. The epic is close to the myth, but still differs from it. Epic legends can talk about real historical figures or fictional characters of myths, describe really happened or fictional events. The focus of the epic is always the heroes and their actions. Even if the gods are involved, they are in the background compared to heroes who perform feats and atrocities, fight, love or hate. Some scholars believe that all modern fiction in one way or another comes precisely from the plots and heroes generated by ancient epic legends. Step 3. The saga is a completely different kind of legends. Her characters are always real people, and the saga does not concentrate on their outstanding deeds, but in detail, with the mention of all everyday trifles, describes the life of one family over several, sometimes many, generations. Among the Scandinavian peoples, especially among the inhabitants of Norway and Iceland, almost every family kept the memory of their ancestors in the form of a saga which they memorized and passed on from fathers to children, gradually adding biographies of new people. Step 4. Fairy tale is a genre close to myth, moreover, some fairy tales have arisen from the processing of myths. In a fairy tale, as in an epic, the hero's adventures are always in the center of attention. However, it does not aim to either show the listener a picture of the world, nor give him a sacred role model. A fairy tale is similar to a game that creates an imaginary space, the characters of which act according to conventional, but strictly defined rules, performing the roles assigned to them. The goal of a fairy tale can be almost anything, from simple entertainment to education or even internal transformation of the listener, solving his psychological problems. Thanks for watching.